This is a quick video about how to look after the tip on your soldering iron. So you go to the soldering station in a shared soldering lab, pull out the iron from the holder and the tip looks like this. And what the person before you has done is they've wiped the tip completely clean, put the iron away and turned off the uh, soldering station. So you give the tip a quick clean on a damp sponge and try and melt some solder and it just won't wet onto the tip of the soldering iron so you can't melt that solder at all. So you go to step two and try cleaning the soldering tip with the brass wool and you can see here someone's cranked the temperature right up to 380 degrees because they were having trouble soldering before and it still won't really melt. There's a little whiff of uh, the flux melting. So you give it another scrub a bit harder this time and finally the solder begins to melt but what you'll see is that the solder doesn't actually tin the tip of the soldering iron. The solder just melts and remains on the wire because the tip has been completely oxidised. And then if you go to my lab at home you can see that the last time I used this soldering iron I left a big blob of solder on the tip. So if we just give it a quick clean on the damp sponge when we try and melt some solder on it the solder melts perfectly and tins the tip of the soldering iron. And you can see there's absolutely no reason to have the soldering iron set to 380 degrees. I've got it set to 305 here. Uh, but anywhere between 300 and 330 degrees will generally give you good results unless you're using a very particular solder that has a very high melting point or a very low melting point. And one habit to try and train yourself into is to wipe the soldering tip only when you're about to perform a solder joint. So it feels counterintuitive but you shouldn't actually wipe the solder off the tip of the soldering iron when you've done some soldering uh, because you want to keep that solder on there to prevent the tip from oxidising. And the final thing you need to do before you turn off your soldering iron is to clean the tip and give it a big blob of solder and then you can turn off your soldering iron and leave the solder on the tip. So I hope you found that useful. There'll be some soldering videos coming up shortly, but until next time, thanks for watching.